Michelle Knight and this is the astrological update for Sagittarius for the whole of October. Now Venus, the planet of love, shifts into your career sector at the beginning of the month and it's making you feel very positive about the people around your work. If you've had arguments or disagreements or you've been uneasy, either you'll change and be around people that you really, really like, or you're able to be unconditionally loving and move on from that block. Also, other people are very inspired by you at work and love to be around you, and there should be a general good vibe. Venus wants you to be happy. Venus wants your surroundings to be full of love. There could even be, that's my geese agreeing, there could even be a love connection at work or something that happens that fills your heart with unconditional love and joy. Excellent news. Now Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, is going retrograde in your place of relationships. Maybe there's an ex-lover that turns up or maybe you're learning a lesson or thinking back to a past relationship or meeting someone and it clarifies something for you. It allows you to see things differently and free yourself. But Jupiter always wants you to push and expand and grow and look at things differently. But being a Sagittarian, that's a piece of cake for you. That's your nature. Now, Saturn, the Lord of transformation and responsibility through, respo transformation through responsibility is coming to you and saying, I'm shining a light this year on the, your spirituality and your intuition. And I am Saturn, so I'm gonna show you what's real and what isn't real. If you have an attraction to something that is not right for you, I'm not going to, you can't really judge on, on what's right or wrong when it comes to spirituality, but if there's something that no longer serves you spiritually or an idea that isn't helping you or enhancing you or evolving you, you will see that idea, that experience, that belief for what it is. You'll be freed to see it or to experience something that enlightens you about your spiritual or intuitive beliefs. It's also bringing in new ideas and new love of spirituality and intuition. And in fact, if you've been doing something right, you're able to be given a gift from Saturn. Maybe you can lay foundations. You might decide to work in the spiritual field or express yourself in a way that you haven't before, in a more solid and grounded way when it comes to your spirituality. This is very liberating and very rewarding, but it could throw up things that challenge you. But you know what? When we're challenged and when we face that challenge, that's when we can move on and shift things which turn out to be a burden. So fear not, be a fearless warrior of love when facing all issues connected to spirituality. The sun on the 23rd is entering that area. So you are feeling more intuitive, spiritual and connected than ever before. This month has magic in the air. If it's realistic ma magic, whatever that is, then great rewards and bountiful abundance will surround you. But even if it isn't, you'll be free to find the beliefs that will serve you for the next phase. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.